Welcome, welcome everyone to Ark Survival Evolved. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Having a pretty good one. So I've been out, was out collecting some oil and some silica pearls. And just out of the blue, come across this crazy looking, tripped out, like, I don't even know what's going on with this mammoth. Let me look at them eyes. And, uh, you know, I was like, well, we gotta have it. And it's not because of its color. And it's because, what you can't see right there, and we'll show you right there, is it's a level 600. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Was about to, like, attack it, and was killed one, and killed a uh, 560, and was like, oh, I need to start checking these things' levels. So I checked its level, and yeah, boom. Little stunned. Little stunned. Because you know what? I really need something to farm wood and they've been changed so it's all that much better and i have got the glare going on we've got to fix that one second y'all excuse me excuse me excuse oh and i just and we're back all right sorry had a bit of a glitch hit the wrong button close the game yep accidents happen all right anyways i have no idea what i was saying but what i decided since i found this guy while I was getting the stuff, I was like, well, that's, you can't pass up a 600. I don't care what it is. And I need a wood collector, so we're going to get it. And I mean, you can't pass up a 600. I mean, that's just the rules. Even if you come across the 600 Magneter, you got to kill it. But, um, I thought, well, we'll grab it. Because I do, like, need the wood collector. And we'll see about showing off a old taming technique. If it still works, that is. And, uh. Yeah, basically, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was going to do real quick. So, I'm going to drop this guy inside my base. So, I know he's not going to wander away while I'm getting stuff. And then we're going to go inside here and we're going to make up some tools to tame him. Alright. You. Stay calm. And, okay, what we need. We need... I'm going to make... Uh, actually, I should already have them made, probably, because I had a whole bunch of them. Yep. We need two of these. Now, we actually need three. Stop that. We actually need three gates, but, um, I'm going to use one of these because... One... Actually, I could probably use all three of these, because the S-plus gates snap, and I have a feeling that may cause a bit of a issue, and I'm having... A hard time finding what I'm looking for while I'm talking. And there we go. Uh, do I not have enough stuff? No, that's a behemoth. Where's the regular gate? Uh, hmm. Dino. Two ends. One then. Alright, so there is the behemoth. Where's the... Did it... Alright, so... Something I've been having an issue with is losing enograms. And this does not appear to be one of those cases, I guess. There's the stone, stone dinosaur gateway. Am I just missing it? Is it like... I know it's here. Stone. Yeah, behemoth. What gifts? Stone. Why is my... What? Why is my, my gate's gone? Oh, because you know why? Zanzilli, and you don't make it there. You make it over here. Yep. Oh, wow. Alright, so I need stone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, sorry about that. I was having a moment. Having a moment. I already closed the game once. Uh, what did I say that needed? We need uh thatch. We got thatch. All right, let's make ah, script. Let's just make three. We'll use straight out. Oh, I need more stone. Oh no, stone is gonna be one item. I'm probably gonna be low on. Oh no, that's right. I'm hit a stone on the other night. Ah, ha, ha, ha. amazing. Alright, so that's 
Is that three? Yeah, that's three. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all over the place. We're going crazy. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, instead of using these, we're going to use these and do it the proper way. Alrighty. So, let's go pick up this bad boy. We're going to take him outside the base because we don't want him to accidentally hit us and everything go crazy. And have to sit here and organize all my dinos for like the 10th time today. Because I keep getting that Morphodons inside my base and I keep having to kill them and it's every time one hits me and yeah. Mayhem is, proceeds to follow as all the dinos come running across the field to save the day. Alright. So, this is how you do it. Taming a mammoth isn't super difficult at all. Matter of fact, it is one of the easiest tames you're ever going to have. And all you need is you can do it with one, but since they introduced the flea mechanic, it helps to have uh, two more. And these are S plus ones, aren't they? No. Why are they snapping? Oh, that's right. Duh, they snap anyway. I'm, like I said, y'all, I'm having one of them days. All right, so the thing here is you don't want them to snap. It's not that big a deal if one of them snaps. Not at all. Matter of fact, go ahead and snap one. That way, this one is a little bit easier to do. And the trick here is you're going to want to put this one just a tiny bit wider than the actual door itself. And that way, the mammoth can get through. Because the thing is, is the mammoth cannot fit through a dino gate. They get caught by it. And this guy's going to come straight up in here on his own. And what you do is basically... See how he's standing right there? Well, you just let him line up the shot and boom, shoot him and walk away from your gate. And come on, a little more. And well, that's why you got to be careful with that outside gate. I didn't put it far enough out, but you get the idea. Basically, he's now stuck in here. And if he'd come in farther, we're going to see if we can redo this. Yep, because he'll come back. He ain't going nowhere. Doo -doo. No rush at all. Alright, there we go. And here he comes back. Over here. Oh, he's just going to attack the structure. Big dummy. Yeah, now come up inside here. Walk out up in there. Come on. Oh, I didn't put it big enough again. Oh well. Well, y'all get the idea. Apparently their hitboxes are a lot bigger than I remember them being. Because he should have just slid right up inside there. No problem. Let's try this one more time. And that should be more than enough, surely. Let's go stand over here. Let's put one in his butt because he's attacking my base and gamma up. It's getting dark. Come here. Come over here. You can't hurt that. It's a castle, dude. You can hit that all day long. All you gotta do is hurt yourself. Come on. Oh, whatever, you big baby. If I could get him up in here, he wouldn't be able to run away. And if you got a tribe mate, and you can get them inside here, and even put a gate down behind them, and they are completely trapped. Like, they won't go nowhere. Even with the run mechanic. <laughs> Come on. Run up inside here. Uh oh, you got a problem. He's running toward the water. We gotta gut him off. I think it's I think it's a her. No. No. Go the other way. No. No. Oh, you were after me. Good. Come after me. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Come on. Come on. You big piece of patchwork. It's freaking blue and brown and gray and like, what in the world is going on, man? I think your mama and daddy was eating the funny snow. 
Well, you're just going to go after that structure, aren't you? There we go. We got you this time. Really? No? You still can't fit up in there? What? I don't know what he's getting hung on. It's okay. It's okay. We got him. He ain't going nowhere. We may run out of darts and have to switch to using prank darts, though. Nah. Go back here. Well, I know the cage works because we used to use the cage all the time. And, uh... I was actually shown how to do that when the right after they first came out by a uh, tribe who lived in the snow and their leader's name was King so if you ever watches this shout out to him for teaching that technique because it works fantastic matter of fact he brought me my very first squad or mammoth I ever tamed and then showed me how to do that <laughs> all right okay we're good okay let's And I don't see any danger, so we're going to run inside real quick. Get the spikes. Which should be right here. Do, do. Spikes, 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 spikes. Where's the spikes? What happened to all the spikes? No, I had a whole bunch of spikes. Where'd they go? But where did all the spikes go? Well, that sucks. Hmm. Uh. Maybe they're out here in the jungle? Yeah, there they are. Okay. Which, by the way, that is uh, the steel box from S. Plus. Pretty cool. It's nice and big, I like it. Just wish you didn't have that funny looking handle on it. Actually, we want the gun back out so I can use the crosshair. Did it again? Why am I hitting the wrong button? I think, I think I'm having one of them nights, y'all. You ever had one of them nights where just nothing wants to work the right way? And like, you just keep hitting the wrong button over and over and over again. Oh, my. <laughs> ah, I did it again. <laughs> oh, good grief. Is that good? Oh, that is right in his butt. We do not need a mammoth kebab. There we go. Eh, there we go. The door. It said, "Oh yeah." <laughs> we can close the door. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna fly over here real quick, and we're going to make some gibble because you know what? Mammoths take raptor eggs. I happen to have. A whole bunch of raptor eggs. I'm pretty sure. I know it's really funny. I got a whole, whole, whole bunch of obi raptor eggs. <laughs> All right. So to make raptor, uh, let's see. Raptor. Yeah. See, 133 obi ribs, but I got 14 of those. So we're gonna run out here. Run over here. in here. Throw this in there. Make sure we get confused and take everything that we don't need in here out that we don't want cooking, which is basically everything. And I'm going to need fiber. Watch, I'm going to need a lot of fiber. Y'all see any gunpowder or spark? No, okay, I need to do Okay, so real quick, Checking Dodo Rex, or Dodo Dex, which is, I mean, man, I'm just having one of them nights, you all. Like, everything is all over the place. Alright, to make Raptor Kibble, we need, I have absolutely no clue. Where is the Raptor Kibble? There, okay. We need long grass, cooked meat, jerky, mayo, and, uh, fiber. So, long grass. No, that's the rock roots. There's the carrots. So, let's just take a couple of these extras in case they spoil. Throw those in there. We need to get fiber and meat 
do do do. What sucks is I'm going to probably have to pull fiber off the table. Because I do not believe I have any on my uh, Therizinosaurus at all. Yeah, there's a handful of fiber. Any more over here? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, there we got a bunch right there. Now, Majos. Uh, you. Uh, not you. Let's see. You. Yeah, there we go. And Roth. Yo. In the door we go. Okay. Major. Viper. Wow, I can't tell what I've got going on here. Uh, sort. Uh, you know what? Unsort. There we go. Alright, so. Majo. Long group. Ah, cooks meat. Right. Cooks meat jerky. I forgot the meat jerky. Back and forth, back and forth we go. Kibble will have it sometimes. We're going to have to go check that guy's toper in a second. So, meat jerky. I need, what, 16? Yeah, that works. We can eat the rest. Run! And... On. Give me the kibble. Nope, that's not what we wanted. But it's okay, you can make those. I don't care. I'm not even sure how you're making those. What, what are you using to make those? Using those? Oh, it don't matter. We got a bunch of healing potions now. Alright, so let's see what we're going to need to actually tame this bad boy. So, level 600 mammoth shouldn't take no more than that much gibble. <laughs> Turn off. Alright. Let's, let's run in here real quick. Because I want to use this and get rid of it. Uh, it's the only one I had left over. So we'll use that narcotic to knock this thing out for longer term. Even though I doubt very seriously it's going to need it. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Boom. So this is going to take a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Well, maybe not. Let's see where it stops at. Wait for it. Wait for it. And we're back. All right. So this should be hopping up here in just a minute. Let's check out its pre-tamed stats. Uh, so it's got 15,000 health, 2,700 stamina, uh, oxygen and food don't matter, melee damage is 580, and it carries 1,370. Now, all right, so torpidity is at... All right, so you should be eating again here in just a moment. I went ahead and went and made a saddle up as well. And, uh, yeah, so this thing, oh, man, I hate spikes. Should be hopping up any second. Let's, are we good out here? Yeah, we're good out here. Let's go ahead and pick all this up. That way we don't have to worry about it hitting any of this when it hops up, which it shouldn't have anyway, but, you know. Optimizing of time, optimizing of time. What are you? I want to breed some flyers. And see if they get faster or not. If they stay the same base speed. So I heard some rumor that you can make them a little bit faster if you breed them. But I don't know. I really want a faster Quetzal. The Quetzal is driving me absolutely bonkers. He's so slow. Right now my current favorite flyer though is the Tapahara. By far seems to be the fastest and most reliable. Just can't pick nothing up. Where is your... Alright, one more thing. And a uh, nice funny little thing about the uh, mammoth. It's one of the few animals, only animal in all of art that has a butthole. Yep, right there. None of the others do. Only one. Big old butthole right there. Big old butt. Yep. It sure in fact does. You can check. People have. Alright, so come on, tame. Tame already. Where can I, why can I not see your box from out here? Can I see your box from out here? Oh, and also, y'all, I got a Mastercraft uh, Spino saddle, which means I'm going to have to go find myself a nice high-level Spino now. Which isn't actually bad, because I was kind of thinking about getting one anyway. Alright, Tame, come on. Get up. You, with the trippy black and yellow eyes. 
Stand. I command it. Arise for your master. Arise! Hm. You're not very helpful. Come on. Really? You just need a little bit more. You're almost there. Just a little more. Come on. You can do it. You got the nice, prettiest, like, white, blue tusks and toenails. Oh, well, there we go, there we go, there we go. Yay! Super excited. Alright. So, the story is, these bad boys now carry wood at a much less weight than they used to. And, uh, what is that? Is that a bird? Let's hit it. Wow, oh, good lord. We stomped it for 480 and it disappeared into the netherlands. All right, so <laughs> 401 wood, 25 pounds on the mammoth, 100 pounds on me. So, yep, that's 75% discount of all wood, which means the mammoth is now probably the best wood collector out. Uh, yeah, totally got replaced by the uh, beaver. And everybody was like, well, why do you need a mammoth if you can get the little beaver who's got a saddle on it? You know, well... There you go. The mammoth is back. And the mammoth it does one thing the beaver doesn't do as well. And that is it harvests absolutely tons of uh, mushrooms and rare flowers as well. Which is fantastic. Because that means you can get all those extra little things you need. Alright, let's see if we can test this thing's damage real quick. So 321 on them. Let's try that one more time. 321, okay. So one melee. Roar, big mean elephant. Come on. So three twenty or three fifty five. So it's not a huge climb. I mean it's it's okay. Definitely needs to be higher though. Let's let's go ahead and pump that up a little bit higher. I wish we could see that, you know, it'd be nice. So everything's all green. Ah Stop spitting on me. Die already. Of course, you're all high level. Oh my goodness. Die. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Alright. So we need some movement speed. <laughs> really? Alright, let's do some weight. Wow, that's impressive. All right, here we go. Rare flowers and mushrooms for days. Look at that, 73 rare flowers. Seven rare mushrooms already, 30 rare mushrooms, 121 rare flowers. Yep, this is the way to do it. And what's even nicer is say, if you have someone who can fly a quetz, you could just fly through the swamp with your uh, mammoth on the hangy from the quetz. And just attack and collect wood all day long. And we're going to get rid of the berries real quick because I want to see what the... Oh, we'll keep some... Oh, it's a kappa. Dying. Arr, we squish you flat. You was flat. Alright, let's get rid of all the berries except for one stack. And that way, we can see what type of actual... How much wood we can carry on this bad boy... Approximately. So 5,262 is not even a full load. And I'm stuck on the cap. There we go. So that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. We needed something to get wood. Uh, I want to build some more stables, so I need some more wood. So that's, that, you know, that was important. And actually, before we get up inside here real quick, there are, this has left click, no right click, and no C. So... Just to confirm, there are no other attacks. The mammoth is pretty basic, but I mean, it's, <laughs> it's the mammoth. I mean, for one time it was one of the kings of the beasts, and then it kind of got poopied on by the uh, beaver being the fast little woodchucker that it is. And everyone having hopes that they could build these blueprints in its uh, inventory if they had enough high enough weight on it. 
So yeah, and you know we didn't actually look at this thing's post thing stats, did we? Oh well. If you're really truly really interested, you can go back and pause the thing. I, I'm pretty sure I paused on it long enough. But look at that thing's coloring. I mean, are you serious? Let's see. Uh, wait. Yeah. Oh man. Another neat thing about mammoths, real quick. You can stand on their tusks. You can even have tribe members stand on their tusks, which is really cool. But I'll tell you what, I think we're going to wrap her up here. Oh, no, no, before we do, before we do, real quick. I actually want to show you all what it looks like when it's inside the uh, trap. Oh, I already picked the trap up, didn't I? All right. Let's put the trap back down real quick. I want to show you all what it's supposed to look like properly in the trap. And I ain't going to do this super fast. Alright, so you get your trap down. You get your mammoth into it. And this is what it's supposed to look like. But apparently something's changed. And they don't go all the way in no more, huh? Well, I guess I wasn't right. But there you go. One simple, easy way to trap mammoths. I mean, it's about as easy to get. You just pull them up in there and you just shoot them. And if you got tribe mates, you can throw down gates behind them and they can't get out. So, if you enjoyed this episode, smash that thumbs up button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Comment below, let me know. You got any questions, suggestions, comments, whatever. And before the running mechanism, that was it. They'd stand there until you knocked them out every time. But, uh, yeah. Share this so others can find it. Uh, I appreciate it if you do. It helps them out. It helps me out. It really helps everyone out. And subscribe if you haven't already. Remember, you all, stay safe. Have fun, and art is life.